Hi everyone, it's Lenka. Happy New Year to all of you. And uh, it's been such a long time since, since I've done a video and even longer since I've done a journal. <laughs> and this is uh, uh, delayed, of course, it's a Christmas journal and Christmas is gone for this year. But like I said, never. It's better late than never. And it's a junk journal made from a milk carton. Uh, it's pretty unique. This is one of a kind. I doubt you can ever find this again because this uh, uh, milk carton, it was from last year, but I will show you what I have used because every year the milk comes with different uh, Christmas designs. So this is one from this year and they have uh, different colors uh, depending on how much fat it's in the milk. So this is this year, it's just a different brand. This is a Q and this uh, has this logo. So uh, there are two different designs, but this is just how it looks like. And it's not as pretty this year, so I haven't saved anyone. But last year they were super cute, so I saved Let's see, this is the pink one and it has, a, of course, four sides, but the one side is not decorated. So I have this piece left. So this is the size <laughs> and they are so cute, these images. And I still have, this is a bigger milk carton. So this was also from last year and this is uh, this color because you see they have uh, less fat in it. I super love this one too. Look at this uh, Santa <laughs> and his tongue really concentrating <laughs> wrapping gifts and also I have saved this from last year and this is cream things you make whipped cream so they are busy baking and this one they are busy uh, decorating and playing and this one is more like um, having fun. <laughs> so I will show you. Uh, so I was, uh, when I first started making this, oh, why didn't I save more of these? Because I love them so much, but I doubt they will come out, out with the same design again. But it measures approximately seven and a half by three. But you see there are sticking out some fabrics and papers and it's just a fun, fun little junk journal. This is loose. I have some um, satin ribbon here and a die cut with a little punch. And this is a compass and it's working so uh, Santa can find its way delivering gifts or getting home to the North Pole and this is a um, vintage crochet piece and it just reminded me of a poinsettia or snowflake so that's what, so this can be used or uh, whatever you like just take this ribbon out and use as a wrapping for this uh, journal because it's uh, a big alligator mouth <laughs> couldn't help myself but here you see the front and the back, very fun and pink. <laughs> so this is a metal um, uh, tab and inside this can, can be um, removed. This is bark from uh, the firewood at my cabin. I have saved when I use the fire bricks. Some of these uh, barks are uh, quite loose, so I peel them off and I love, love the texture. And it's many layers, as you can see here. So, and different colors for each layer. And it can be written on too. So I think that was really fun. And as, as I said, it's a junk journal. So let me just show you. I have this from the uh, Grena sisters. It's a catalog. And a couple of years ago, I made some Christmas junk journals using uh, these covers too. I will see if I can find that video and link below. 
So in here I have several things I have used in here. It's vintage wrapping papers. Some are new. So little pieces that I have saved and this is a Winnie the Pooh Christmas edition um, magazine for kids. So I have used some of that. This is the uh, uh, catalogs you get in the mail um, from shops and I just love the colors and the images. Look at these. So I have used lots of these inside here. So if a true junk journal in my opinion so I will just save these for another year <laughs> or oh, I didn't do any um, journaling this Christmas so here we have a little bell and I made a little pink snowman <laughs> out of these pom-poms <clears throat> really fun inside this uh, fabric here is from my youngest daughter's um, she had a dress when she was a little girl and uh, it fits the color so nicely and I kept all these threads loose. Here are just some um, different eco dyed and coffee dyed tea dyed papers and such little scrap. You can open these pliers and take it out if you want to and we have a little journaling card with a brad and it says joy. This uh, was from a tablecloth from the thrift store and it's dyed with um, red berries. I did it this summer at the cabin and I attached with this brad here just a vintage piece of trim that you can use to embellish or whatever you like. Some lace and this is uh, one of the names from a paper, a scrapbook paper, Christmas in Scandinavia. It's discontinued and it's design, the designer is actually from my hometown. I know her, but she doesn't have a company anymore. This is a coffee dyed um, vintage uh, architectural uh, paper that feels like vellum and here, <laughs> Oh, I save everything. I love junk. This is an old advent calendar, like a lottery thing. And it has these uh, hatches, one for each day, and a number and a little image. So you can see if you have one in here. So I just glued that for fun. Let it snow and some snowman here. A um, little die cut piece of paper. And I have decorated with different die cuts. Some stickers that you can use for decorating. This is a Peon Design little ticket here. Vintage wrapping paper. And these strips you will see throughout are from one of the very old vintage um, uh, newspapers from, it was 40s or 50s I think and a Christmas uh, edition too. So um, they had all these borders around the pages. A little um, uh, doily that was gifted to me from my friend Lori. This is scrapbook paper and I have a punch that punch out these. I think it's a Marta Stewart punch and then when I have small scraps I just punch out and tie the bow together. It reminded me of a little mistletoe. A vintage postage stamps this is from Shabby Art Boutique, I think. I have used several of her tags. It's a freebie. Backed it with some journaling paper and um, we have um, different uh, eco dyed and uh, uh, coffee dyed papers. This is also from Shabby Art Boutique. Backed it with some paper. Pretty. So I tried to use colors. It's not traditional Christmas colors, but uh, love the pink. <laughs> a little bit of a shabby. A, a stamp that I have there is the Winnie the Pooh page. And this is a cutout from a, a wrapping paper. And throughout there are several scraps from um, different paper packs that you can use for journaling or decorating. And uh, Winnie the Pooh 
is in Norwegian Ulebrim. <laughs> so that's that. Some lined paper, some die cuts, and this is a tea bag tag. Love is the ultimate law of life. Pretty die cut, and here just so you can use for decoration from that um, newspaper. A little bit stamping here and there. There's another tag with ecodite paper on back. This was also from a magazine. It's uh, one of those carpets you put under your Christmas tree. So I thought it was perfect for a little journaling spot and a little golden tassel. Here is also just a little scrap of a scrap of paper that you can use for journaling. This too, Merry Christmas, it says. This thing here is, uh, oh, I found it at the thrift store. It comes on a roll. I think it's, you, you are supposed to have it as a centerpiece uh, on your table. You just roll it open. And it's uh, light, light pink. And there we have some magazine paper that I showed you. With pretty uh, Christmas tree embellishments here from the magazine. A little uh, scrapbook piece of paper, more paper for um, journaling. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> this is uh, a real, um, very old um, paper from 1914 and this also tea bag tag. May this day bring you peace, tranquility and harmony. This falls out so as you see it's um, very old but I love the, the colors here. And it's a mill, a brewery mill so it's very old and fun. So this is the middle, there are two signatures. So I had added a couple of charms on these strings. Here again, some magazine paper. This is just a little, um, you know, the thin wrapping paper I glued down here. And pretty. And this other side here, I glued down here and there. And this is, so it's a pocket. This is just a piece of uh, it's double-sided tape here so you can cut it up and use it a little uh, ribbon with some uh, diamonds <laughs> felt piece everything is just scraps in here and here as well a little old strip from the newspaper and some scrapbook scraps <laughs> these are Tilda stamps. They are discontinued. They are super cute. And uh, I made a little tab out of a cancelled Christmas stamp, lined paper here as well for journaling. We need a pool. <laughs> Special delivery from the North Pole. And then I cut out these from uh, also a wrapping paper. And this is just a little friend tucked behind so you can use it for decorating too so it's a little pocket but it's not a, a strong one it's just thin wrapping paper here i hope i am in frame and this is some snowflakes and here we have uh, i have this tim holtz die this is also from a very old uh, architectural paper some stickers. These are uh, die cuts you see. I just put them behind here so they are loose so you can use for journaling too or for decorating. And here another doily, the other side wrapping paper and a little bit more stamping die cuts and this is loose. It's so pretty. Christmas tree and lots of space for journaling inside here. This is from a, a Christmas card on front of a Christmas card. So I cut it and uh, just used it as a little uh, pocket here. And this was 
something I found recently on the, when I was thrifting. It was different ribbons and such. And this uh, company doesn't exist anymore. It's from 1974 from my hometown. And it says Marit, that's uh, a first name. And Charm Atelier. Charm, that's, um, uh, you know, la lamp shades. So I think you can translate it to shade atelier. And there are different kinds of uh, trims here. So I think it was a store that was uh, specialized in those things. Uh, because I can remember my mother too made her own lampshades. Just a little scrapbook paper for decorating here. And stickers on the other side of that vintage um, vellum sort of thing. Uh, this is the middle between the two signatures and this is uh, I glued on. Let me show you. It's uh, this vintage um, tinsel that we used to decorate our trees with and it's very very uh, soft and very very old. So, and it has a different shine than the new ones. So I glue that down in the middle. And this is a very special piece. It's just attached with a little paper clip. And this was also an old Christmas card. So it's heavy. And as you can see, it's a brooch and a reindeer. I found it at the thrift store. And it's faded here, but it's it's called Lux Alv. That's a place north in Norway. And this is broken. It has a little sharp edge here. You see one of these horns here. It was probably longer this way. But I thought it was perfect for this page. So you can use this however you like. It's a really, really old piece. I love it. So here's some more decades again and small bits and pieces. I love these junky journals. A vintage ledger paper, paper and stickers. It's a little ticket and this is a paper bag and in, instead of just cutting it here I cut this corner piece out and then I have a little tuck spot here and it's open here so I have put inside a couple of uh, die cuts and some uh, tags. This is from a very old hymnal paper or something. You see the pretty pretty script. Some angels, just fun stuff to use for decorating. And this is a tag I got several years ago from my friend. Uh, Elena in um, Spain and here we have a lot a uh, very old uh, book paper too you see the gothic script that I love so much and a little Santa charm for this tag and here another piece of that uh, eco dyed paper just some coffee dyed lace so this is an original more of this and here more wrapping paper for journaling they are so smooth and I love that little cute stamp that's also discontinued and we have a little Santa charm these striped paper clips I love them I bought them oh, a few years ago when I was on vacation in Greece <laughs> and here this is a little you see, oh, what do you call this paper mm, fabric? It was from a swap with Roseanne and I thought it was perfect because it has this shabby and pink pretty colors. So I put it in here so you can use for decorating too. More wrapping paper. And this was from that um, mm, newspaper too. Julefast med Nisser. It's Christmas party with 
Santas. And we have a little something. This is also from a wrapping paper. And uh, I reused a gift tag. <laughs> and inside here are just this. You, you, these are perforated so you can tear them off. Date and Monday, all the days of the week. So you can use these separately in your journal. And this is just a piece of, the, of scrapbook paper that I have coffee dyed. Some stickers throughout and just fun. And there's the middle of the second signature and we have a couple of charms. You see this is a stocking and I have this little oh, stocking <laughs> and a pink tassel. And this, take a look, it says I bought these uh, when I was in Singapore last year and it's just one of these from the advent calendar and a tea bag and inside they are filled with oh I have to open this maybe for to show you so it's Christmas tea and we have several things just scraps and some vellum and some star stickers and this says Merry Christmas and a little tag again also from Shabby Art Boutique. Some mm, washi tape. And here, this is a very old uh, stamp from a stamp set from Stamping Up. I think it's from 2008. More static. May your day be merry and bright. And a little angel sticker. More eco dyed paper and stamping. There's that ribbon. I just used it to add some interest. Another um, reused um, Christmas card with some tickets. And more of this. We have a Christmas tree charm. And here, this is eco dyed paper and a uh, scrapbook paper scrap <laughs> and more eco dyed paper. It's so hard with this setup with my tripod. I can't see what you see so I hope I have been in frame. And here more of this old old book paper a tag hidden behind that and a paper bag and I may I have a ballerina charm because you can see it's the nutcracker and the ballerina and inside I think there is something oh it's just a little uh, tag from Shabby Art Boutique and I stamped Noel I don't know where this stamp comes from uh, a star paper clip and some um, piece of scrapbook paper, that old ledger. Oh, this is a chocolate um, um, candy wrapper. <laughs> uh, I got these from my little friend Sophia for Christmas and I ate one and while I was working on this. I thought, oh, that's so cute. Just attached it with some double-sided tape. Love this stamp too. I don't know the brand of this either. And the back here we have that um, paper again. And I just glued down, I have some sparkly, not sure if you can see, there's a, a little bit sparkle here. Winter wishes. And uh, Merry Christmas to all. That's uh, actually from one of the magazine, it's a pillow. And this is Norwegian from that uh, old newspaper. Gott nytt år means Happy New Year. And that dress from my little girl. <laughs> and this is also a um, um, reused Christmas card. And it's quite sturdy. So I put it here so you can use throughout to back these papers when you are journaling so that's it 
and it was super fun to make this and uh, <laughs> I am offering this for sale. I, if you are interested, I know this is, uh, you probably won't journal about Christmas now, but um, maybe some of you are interested. So just contact me either on um, email or um, through Facebook. I will leave the links below. If not, I will save it for uh, this, uh, next year or we are already in next year, but for this Christmas. So I haven't counted all the pages, but if you have any questions at all, please just ask and I will uh, help you as good as I can. But you see it's pretty chunky already, but there are several things you can remove from here and you can keep it closed with this ribbon. So. That's it and hopefully I will be back more often this year, I hope so. But thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you are all safe. Bye bye.